Okay, in this video I just want to quickly look at inner products and orthogonal functions. So uh, the definition of an inner product, uh, we say the inner product of two functions f of x and g of x on the interval a to b is a number denoted by, we just put them in parentheses, so parentheses f comma g, close the parentheses, and to find the inner product all we do is we multiply those two functions f of x times g of x and then we calculate that definite integral from a to b uh, integrating with respect to x. So all we do to find the inner product just multiply them integrate over the desired interval. If this inner product ends up equaling zero, so when we calculate the definite integral, if we get zero, we say that those functions f and g are orthogonal. And functions being orthogonal, uh, that ends up being something something important, and we'll see that in some some following videos. So, a very quick, simple little example. Show that the functions 1 plus x and x minus x squared, we're going to simply show that those are orthogonal on the interval negative 2 to 2. Well, all we have to do in this case, we just integrate from negative 2 to 2. All we're going to do is just multiply those functions together, calculate the definite integral, and we had better get 0 if they are in fact orthogonal. Okay, well, this shouldn't be too terrible. It's just a matter of multiplying it out. So if we distribute 1 times x is x, we'll have 1 times negative x squared. We'll have positive x and x, which will be positive x squared. And then it looks like we'll have negative x to the third. OK, so we can certainly simplify that. Our negative x squared and positive x squared are going to cancel. So now we're just calculating from negative 2 to 2 of x minus x to the third dx. Well, this isn't too bad at all. When we integrate x, we'll have x squared over 2. When we integrate x to the third, we'll have x to the fourth over 4. And now we simply have to evaluate that from negative 2 to 2. Well, both of these are even functions, so they're clearly we're going to get the same value from negative 2 to 2, so maybe it's obvious that we get 0, but let's, I guess let's go ahead and evaluate. We'll have 2 squared, which is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Uh, 2 to the 4th is 16. 16 divided by 4 is going to be 4. So that's our uh, upper limit of integration. And again, since we're squaring and raising to the 4th power, when we substitute in negative 2, we're going to get the exact same thing. Okay, so we have negative 2 minus negative 2, or negative 2 plus 2. Well, that certainly equals 0. So yes, in fact, those two functions are orthogonal. What I'm going to do in my next video is actually look at an orthogonal set of functions. And in that case, we'll justify that that entire set of functions um, are orthogonal. And uh, we'll also give a, uh, I'll give an exact definition of what we mean when we talk about orthogonal sets of functions.